Good morning, Nutri White family. I'm here in Santa Cruz, California. A robin came by, and why we have to look for good quality products. So I'm hello. so grateful to have a chance to to talk with you about that. Okay. And thank you for recommending and using our products. Okay, this is a Simogen uh, brand. We are. We like it a lot. We feel in our in ourselves very good improvement when we use it. But can you tell us why we have to choose good brands and why we do have to supplement ourselves? It's such a good question. A, lo a lot of people think that eating uh, fish might be a terrific way of getting omega-3 fatty acids. Um, but as you know, when a woman becomes pregnant, the um, OBGYN will recommend uh, avoiding eating fish more than one time a week because of the level of contaminants held within the fat of the fish that the fish spends its entire life accumulating small levels of toxins which are stored in fat to protect the fish but over the lifetime of the fish then it has high levels of contaminants and therefore when you eat the fish you essentially are adding high concentrations of toxins into your body. Therefore, if you were to take a fish oil, for example, you get the oil, but it's been cleaned out. So okay. that can be a way to have omega-3s delivered in a more healthy fashion. So that can overcome one reason. Why would you take a supplement? Well, because you're avoiding toxins, it's cleaner, okay. but yet you're delivering an element that's incorporated into the cell membrane of every cell in our whole body. Mm -hmm. Every cell in our body is made of two layers of fat incorporated from the diet that you eat. Mm -hmm. And so supplementing with fish oil is very important for that reason. And, and how does it work? It modulates inflammation, which is the root cause of all disease and cancers as we know it. Um, but another reason would be some genetic problems. Um, for example, methylation is something that's necessary for cleaning out, say, cancer cells or for metabolizing hormones. You want to use hormones and metabolize them and then eliminate them in a healthy way. But a lot of hormone-related cancers happen when we have poor methylation. And unfortunately, 50% of the world's population is heterozygous, meaning mom or dad um, has uh, given you the gene where you have a problem converting green leafy vegetables foliage into the active form L5 methyl tetrahydrofolate. Mm -hmm. So in that case, you're going to have a problem converting your food into a proper methylation pathway and therefore you have a higher risk of hormone related cancers like ovarian cancer, breast cancer, or things like producing serotonin also requires this methylation pathway. So you may be depressed, things like that. Um, and they have drugs for that now, which are giving a methylated form of folate if you have this C677T um, single nucleotide polymorphism. Um, unfortunately, 25% of the world's population has both genes, mom and dad, and so they severely have a problem with it. And if you ate all the foliage, all the green leafy vegetables in the world, you still would not be able to properly create this 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate, the active form. So that's another example of providing supplementation that overcomes these challenges that people have. There are a lot of cases like this. For example, bacteria in your gut. Um, the microbiome plays a huge role in immune health and uh, neurotransmitter synthesis and so on. Um, but eating yogurt or having root vegetables or fermented foods, they give you a very small dose. It's beneficial, but it's, it can be hard to have a therapeutic effect. So sometimes supplementing can help to address a, a health concern in a very fast method. Also the soil, uh, they are depleted of some minerals, no? The nowadays, no? Soils are depleted. You could go to Costco and get um, of strawberry and the strawberry is gigantic and it looks red and full of vibrancy and you taste it, it's very watery and the nutrient value would be very low versus the strawberry that struggles in poor soil and 
too much sun. It's a tiny pruned little strawberry, but the vitamin and mineral potency, the phytochemical resiliency within it is so much higher. Um, and so those are examples of uh, soil depletion, but then you also have concerns of contamination, toxicity. So you can have an organic farm, you can have an organic or wild crafted um, vegetable or fruit or herb, um, and it may be organic. The herbicides, pesticides may never have been used, but the environment that we're in, there could be wildfires near, raining down, um, carcinogens, um, you could be near a freeway and the brake dust is accumulating on your, your herbs or your vegetables or your fruits. Um, lead is, is in high concentrations in the air um, and it makes its way onto even organic vegetables and so on. So having quality control in a supplement is important for making sure that you have a clean, a clean product delivering high potency of the things that you would get from your diet and overcoming these challenges um, in a therapeutic dose that can have a health benefit quickly. Why choose Symogen? So really good question. There are so many choices out there. Many choices. And, and the problem with uh, supplements, the supplement industry, um, in the United St States and throughout a lot of the world, is there can be a lack of quality control. So uh, a lot of people get their fish oil, since we were talking about that, at Costco. Mm. And um, Costco has a class action lawsuit right now because they have uh, a third of label claim. Here it says that they had a thousand milligrams of fish oil when really there was um, a much lower dose. Um, it was uh, 346 milligrams. So um, does it wind up saving you money going to Costco or online resellers? Are you getting what you think you're getting? Um, how clean is it? So there's a lot of fraud and misrepresentation in supplements. And so Zymogen, we're certified for good manufacturing practices, which is GMP, by the most stringent certifying entity in the United States um, and Australia. It's called a TGA, Therapeutics Goods Administration, mm -hmm. which requires that it's drug standards, and it means that every single batch of ingredients that we purchase to put into a product, that we quarantine and test every single batch for active ingredient level. So does it have the right ingredient? Is it at the right amount? And then also contaminants like herbicides, pesticides, heavy metals, pathogens, you know, bacteria, virus, things like that. Um, so it's a clean material and the, the um, potency is there. And so Zymogen, we're a prescriptive line, so we're not available on the internet anywhere, um, unless if it's behind password protection. Occasionally, practitioners will try to sell our products online, which is why on some occasions you can find our products um, on rare occasions online. But what happens is they have a lawsuit and a fine per product per day and their account shut down um, because our product line is a therapeutic line that practitioners will work up what's best for the patient after viewing their lab work, their history, um, their individuality, and coming up with a protocol that will help them. It's not always best for a patient to dabble with the balancing their hormones and so on. That could be dangerous for them, for example. Mm -hmm. So being a prescriptive line, it puts our line under control of practitioners giving specific recommendations like a drug or a medication to the patient so that they can get the outcome to help the patient feel better faster. Okay. Okay, thank you.